Hi guys, it's Matilda. Obviously, and you know that because you're on my channel. And today we're going to talk a little bit more about the HRT, the hormone replacement therapy. So I'm going to answer a bunch of a question regarding the estrogen and the testosterone blockers and everything like that. Because if you didn't know, I'm actually transgender, like shocking. I know I talk about it all the time around here, but if that's something that interests you, keep on watching. But before we get into this video, don't forget to follow me on my socials, especially Instagram and everything is like down below, you know, fun time, fun time and also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, it's down below, you know, please click it. Click that subscribe button, you really help a girly out. I actually have a major goal in 2021 to reach 100k, so you would really help me out. But now, let's get into this video. Okay, so I have all of the questions here on my phone because I can't keep anything in my head. And I actually have answered a lot of these questions before, or not like a lot, a lot, but some of these questions I have answered before, but it's just like, cause you send in these questions again, so I'm going to answer them again, I guess. So yeah. So the first question is, what age did I start my hormone replacement therapy? So I started going on estrogen and this testosterone blockers when I was around 18 years old. I was a little baby. I was a little baby. Next question is, am I on progress to progress? I can't pronounce that word. I'm so sorry. Like, you know, that hormone. And no, I'm not on progress to <laughs> like that. That word is a tongue twister. I'm sorry. I'm only on estrogen right now because like I'm you don't have to be on testosterone blockers anymore after you've had the bottom surgery. So right now I'm only on estrogen and the reason why I'm not on this this hormone right here is just because like here in Sweden we're not offered that hormone because it can actually increase the risk of getting breast cancer and I don't want that. So yeah, that is the reasoning behind us not being offered that hormone. And yes, there are pros and cons. However, the cons kind of outweigh the pros according to the Swedish government, I guess. So yes, we're not offered that hormone and I don't have it and, I'm, and I never will probably. Next question, what hormones do I use? And I use Divigel. I've answered that question many times. So Divigel, I can put it here. Next question. Okay, so this is a big one. Will your drive disappear after going on HRT and I mean <laughs> kinda girl like kinda you will not be if I'm going to talk from my own experience which this is my channel so I will after going on HRT I just want to really make it clear my gender dysphoria was really intense prior to transitioning I wasn't really intimate with anyone where I didn't even have the big O prior to my transitioning. So I just want to let you know. However, I was, you know, feeling in heat sometimes, if that's, if I'm, I'm going to use that word. So I was feeling heated sometimes. However, I didn't do anything about it. After I went on HRT, everything just kind of died down. I wasn't feeling anything below my waist. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that at all and even even after my bottom surgery I wasn't really feeling it either however as I met Christian it kind of came back and now it's back to normal I don't know why it was like that in the beginning but I think your brain kind of has to rewire itself after going on HRT. So in the beginning, it will kind of feel like, or I'm just talking from my own experiences, because like you have all of these new hormones in your body. And I think just that you need some time to like, your body needs to rewire itself. So yeah, I I don't think that your, your stride will disappear forever. I, I just think that as I said, it will kind of be like a slow process or I'm just talking from my own experiences. Like I have no idea really, but yeah, that is what I believe. But your try will not disappear forever. It's just like in the beginning. But next question, and that is how much does your boobs grow on hormones and how long? I mean, the first question is really impossible to answer really. I mean, it really depends on who you are as a person, your genes, your height, your weight, everything is kind of like summed into your own breast growth 
For myself, I went from a flat chest to a small A cup. However, most of the growth was like in the areola area. They went from looking more like a male to looking more like a female. And for how long? Your breasts will develop for up to three years. So yeah, next question. How much does your body change? I mean, a lot. A lot of stuff changes. Fat redistribution, like butt, breasts, waist, and your face will get a rounder shape to it. Like your muscles will dissolve, you will get a smaller waist, uh, wider hips, and yeah, a lot of stuff changes. So you will be in for a treat. You will be in for a treat. Next question. What happens with your mood? Like for myself, it really went up and down. I have talked about this before here on my channel that I got a lot of mood swings and I still get a lot of mood swings, not as bad as they were in the beginning. I felt everything, like all of my feelings were heightened. I felt happiness a lot more. I felt sadness a lot more, like everything heightened. Then I got a lot of mood swings and now after this many years on HRT, I have been on HRT for eight years, so after this time, I still get mood swings and I still have my feelings on the outside a lot more than I did before. So yeah, your mood will kind of change, but I think it's for the better, or I like my, I like my emotional life a lot more now than I did before, because just like I feel everything a lot more now, so yeah. I, I just like it. Does your hair growth change? I mean, I really didn't see any difference at all just because I was so young when I started getting on the HRT, so I still had all my hair on my head. However, according to studies made, getting off testosterone will actually stop you from getting bald just because it's the DHT that strangle the hair follicles, which causes male pattern baldness. So yeah, you will not get bald if you get off testosterone. Your hair growth will definitely change if you get on HRT. However, as I said, I didn't really see any difference just because I was so young. But on my body, my hair growth just went thinner and more sparse, I guess. Let's move on to the next question, and that is, why do I have such narrow shoulders? This is definitely one of <laughs> my most frequently asked questions. Honestly, I just guess it's because of my genes, but also I think it's just because like, I transitioned at the age of 18. And also, I didn't have enough testosterone when I was younger. I went to the hospital a lot and they took my blood test and they saw that I didn't have enough to, enough testosterone in my body, which made me be very underweight and I didn't like follow the height curve and everything like that. And the doctors actually contemplating on giving me more testosterone, which I'm so happy that they didn't. I'm like, <laughs> I'm trans. No, so yeah, that was before they actually knew that I was transgender, but I'm so happy that they didn't give me more testosterone. So I think that is the reason why I had such such an easy transition once I went through my transition just because like I didn't have enough testosterone in my body. But yeah, let's move on to the last question of today. And this is a short one. It is, did your skin become softer? And yes, it became softer. I have softer skin now than I did before. However, like it just becomes softer to a certain point. But now my skin is kind of like cisgender women's skin. It's softer. It's very much softer than it was before. But yeah, I think that was all of the questions. I'm just going to double check. Yes, that was all, all of the HRT questions. And I know that I have answered some of these before. But like you asked them again, so I just wanted to answer them again. But yeah, I think that was everything for this video. And if you liked this video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, and also the little bell icon to get future notifications whenever I post. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.